let me give you a few practical tips on the art of Thanksgiving. Number one, be specific. You got to be specific. You honor someone when you do an accurate accounting of what they've done or what they've given. Don't be vague. That implies that you don't appreciate the cost, the investment, or that you're arrogant and trying to be dismissive. Yes, thank you, little peasant, for your, your little gift there. Run along now, run along. <laughs> oh, I've heard that, haven't you? <laughs> Number two, make it about the other person. Oh, that's good. Make it about the other person. Don't ruin a good thank you by making it all about you. This isn't, this isn't all about you. This isn't your opportunity to shine, but you need to make the other person shine. Sometimes being subtle or discreet is the corresponding respect due to the other person. I like that. I like that. Number three, speak their language. You know, I have a nephew who was given something very special from his dad. And I asked him, I said, hey, did you thank him? And he said, oh, yeah, sure. I said, thanks. I think he said I texted him thanks or something like that. I told him, I said, look, your thank you has to register. It's got to be heard. You've got to speak your dad's language. Take him out for a nice dinner and say, you know what, dad? You really, really bless me. He did that. And the message was received loud and clear. Plus, he made a new great memory with his father. In some cases, a handwritten note or a thank you card carries that expression. People like that. Maybe it's eye contact and a heartfelt handshake. Speak the language of the other person. If thankfulness isn't honorable, you don't truly know the art of it. When you're thanking God, you got to speak God's language. Look at what his Bible says. You see, that's what we're doing today in this message. We're examining the true art of speaking thanksgiving. So speak the language. Number four, include God. When you include God, things go better. <laughs> they go better than expected. That's true. You know, in James 1:17, it says, every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights, comes down from God. So include God in every situation, you know. You know, another person may have blessed you, but remember that it's God that use that person to accomplish the good things yes. in your life. So thank that person, but always include God in the thoughts, knowing that He's the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So it's all about God and what He has motivated other people to do. So always include God in the situation. I love that, Pam. When you hear someone talking about being a self-made man or a self-made woman, be on the lookout for a great void of thankfulness. They tend to use people instead of recognizing people for their invaluable contribution to life. We all need help, but only the smart get help. That's where the art of Thanksgiving comes in. Thanksgiving will help you discern good, discern good people, discern good help. You've been looking for an answer in your life possibly maybe a direction, wondering about the future, or a family circumstance that seems too hard or even too difficult to think about. You need a next step, my friend. You need a mandate from God. Is he gonna ask you to do the impossible? No, that's what he does. He's telling you right now that his will for you is thankfulness.